Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you would like, subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. So I got requested quite a few times to talk about my jewelry. So I decided to make you my top 10 jewelry of 2019. I'm going to talk about trends, I'm going to talk about the jewelry I wear at all times. And yeah, let's just get started. Um, I have loads to do today, but tonight I'm going to put up my Christmas tree. And we are in such a dodgy situation because we, basically my daughter, we let my daughter choose uh, what we were going to put on the tree. And we ordered loads of stuff from Amazon and nothing is actually matching. So I don't know what we're going to do. We do have a natural tree. Okay, so let's start with the jewelry. I'm going to start with the stuff you cannot purchase. So I have this ring. This is just what I wear most of the time in most of my videos. So this is a white gold diamond ring. Nothing special, like seriously, it's just two rows of diamonds. There is 10 in total. Then I have this uh, diamond ring. So this is also white gold and diamonds. I got it as a gift. So before um, this part was yellow, the part with no diamonds on it, uh, yellow gold, but I got it painted white gold. So it would be all white gold. But now I kind of regret it because I like the mix of gold and white gold. So yeah, uh, I just got it as a gift. I think it's very pretty. It has like a good uh, amount of diamonds and I like diamonds and it has a good like projection. And it just looks lit. So this is my engagement ring. This is a very high quality diamond. I have the documents here, but like I cannot be bothered to take them out. I think it's 1.67 carat, but if I'm not mistaken, maybe something around that. And yeah, it is like uh, the second best purity, the, the best cut. So yeah, this is my diamond ring. Uh, before I was always wearing this ring with this one because I just seemed like more diamonds on one hand look better but um, the jeweler told me that it's better to leave this one bare or uh, just get like a wedding band when I get married this year <laughs> and um, this year no look we're planning for next year so I have a plan but I don't know how much I'm gonna say I don't think I'm gonna say anything actually so uh, if you want a little story, when my fiancé proposed, I always I obviously said yes, I love him more than anything. But my fiancé is very easy to read and you know when he's planning something. And uh, I told him that I wanted clearly a minimum two or three carat ring. I didn't want anything under that. No, no, no. And uh, yeah, you're gonna say she's so materialistic and superficial. No, I'm just Russian. And um, he basically told me that like, uh, that the, basically that three carat rings were quite hard to find underneath a hundred thousand. And he said he could have got me a three carat, but he rather put in the quality into the diamond. I mean, to each their budget, this ring is already ridiculously expensive. I do have all the certificates of it and uh, yeah, no, I wanted a two to three carat and I'm still thinking that um, I should, I deserve an upgrade, clearly. Or like my wedding band be full of diamonds, I don't know. Let's see about that. So, then I have my uh, watch that I wear literally almost all the time. This is my Cartier Santos watch. And I really like it. So it is, uh, I think it's stainless steel with... Uh, with 18 karat yellow gold. I really like watches who are, that are a mix like that. This is a timeless watch. I know some people will say, oh my God, it looks old. It's timeless. I can wear it until I'm 80. I really want to start saving for a gold Rolex, like a gold, gold, pure gold Rolex. So yeah, or maybe get it for a birthday or something. I don't know yet. Okay, so guys, I'm editing right now and I totally forgot to mention my chain. I actually wear this all the time. This is also 18 karat gold. This is a Russian Orthodox cross. I don't wear it because I believe in God or anything. Like, I mean, like, it's not because you wear a Playboy rabbit necklace that you are a Playboy bunny. It doesn't mean anything. But I uh, just like the look of it. 
That's it. And uh, yeah, I like to uh, wear a lot of like ex expensive materials, ba basically the most as possible. Let's see. So then uh, I'm going to do from most expensive to cheapest. So then I have these bracelets from Hermes. They are the click clacks. I honestly don't recommend these bracelets. <laughs> I think that they look good, but they are bad quality. I feel like some stuff made in China is better quality than that, if I'm honest. So these bracelets are expensive. They are like $800 or something like that. And they scratch super easily. And I'm very careful with my stuff. So this is the wide one. Uh, I have the small size and it's uh, gold plated. So it's just basically like stainless steel that is gold plated. Great. And I have this one and this one I actually already broke the thing. Do you see? It's a bit dodgy. And this is silver with um, white. Yeah, I have to go Hermes. So they come in, in this little thing. Seriously, I don't think they're worth the price. But they are cute like uh, gifts, you know, for like, I, I think I got one for Christmas. Uh, this, I don't know when I got it. I don't remember. But I do wear these a lot because I feel like they uh, look expensive, even though they are not expensive. And they just like look poshy. I don't know. It's kind of like a symbol status, I guess. But uh, I wear them together, separate. But um, if I can give you an advice with jewelry, if you want to put money into something, um, I wouldn't necessarily go to jewelry stores. I would uh, rather uh, rebuy jewelry. Look at um, auctions, look at, uh, yeah, look at auctions, look at like resale shops, look at websites because you know now, on, well, good for some people and bad for, for other people. Loads of people divorce, loads of people um, uh, lose their jobs. So we are in a bad economical situation and a lot of people resell all, all, all their gold jewelry. And you can get uh, 30,000 uh, engagement rings for about 11,000, you know what I mean? So you, it's really worth uh, like going out of your way and avoiding the actual like jewelry shops. This is my opinion, okay? Okay, this, I have, then I have this. This is the Christian Dior friendship bracelet. Uh, I got it secondhand and I'm not sure it's real if I'm honest. And this is how it looks. But seriously, I don't even want to go check if it's real or not because I really like it and I didn't pay much for it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I really want to get another one, but I, I don't know. If, if it's fake, I would keep wearing it anyway because I really like how it looks. I think it's just like add something cool, hippie-ish, you know what I mean? So, oh yeah, I have this. So these I bought myself so I know they're, that they are real. These are the Dior triple earrings. Triple earrings. I really like them. By the way, I have some ear piercings. I want to get more. These are just healing at the moment. This is not like the end jewelry. So bear with me. But uh, by the way, my ear piercings really have like a hard time healing. I don't know, I don't know. I really just like, don't know. So, yeah. I think they really look like... Um, so they come in this little thing. I think they really look like uh, posh expensive they go with every outfit they go with everything uh they go for everyone like these are just like a classic staple piece jewelry i feel like if you would have to like buy something that is like not gold diamond and like but you want something branded i would go for um for um the earrings over the hermes bracelets because i think the earrings just like have more effect are better quality and i think they're cheaper uh this shitty piece of string that's written Christian Dior on it. I think the original price is around 200 or something like that. Seriously, I bought it secondhand because you will never see me while I'm alive buy a $200 
piece of string friendship bracelet. It's just like a no for me, like no thanks. <laughs> Clearly not. But then also like these ones, I got them as a gift. Would I have bought them myself? Probably not. I don't think they are worth the money whatsoever because they get scuffed so easily. And as I told you, the other one got broken. Okay, so then, I don't know why, it really just annoys me that it got broken. Yeah. So guys, then uh, I have this necklace. This necklace is from AliExpress. It's written Sasha in Arabic and I often wear it. I just really like it. I like the fact that it's not just written. Okay, Sasha is my real name, in case you didn't know. Mila is just like my YouTube name. My real name is Sasha. To be more specific, my name is Alexandra. Okay, so this is going to be complicated, but yeah, I had to explain this all my life to everyone, in school, eh, to everyone. So, okay, my name is Alexandra. My real name is Alexandra. But since I'm born, everyone calls me Sasha. Because in Russia, uh, every Alexander, Alexander or Alexandra, are called Sasha. It's like a short, it's like Leticia Lea. So that's why since I'm born, I'm called Sasha. When I went to school, I started school in Switzerland. I had to explain to everyone that my name was Sasha and everyone was like, no, your name is Alexandra. And I was like, no, I swear to you, everyone calls me Sasha since I'm born, although my name is Alexandra and Sasha is written nowhere. But everyone calls me Sasha. My fiance calls me Sasha. My, my daughter knows that my name is Sasha. So yeah, Mila is my fake name. But as I made friends on YouTube, uh, and I and they, they called me Mila. So uh, now when someone is like uh, called by their name Mila in the street, I turn. So I recognize myself as Alexandra, Sasha, and Mila, but mostly Al Sasha, obviously. <sighs> Why do I have this um, talent to you know what I mean? To go off tangent. Doesn't make sense. Okay, so anyway. I really actually like my name, Sasha. I just thought like I wanted to be, have a bare name. And I, want, I was hesitating to call my daughter or Victoria or Mila. And I made my YouTube channel after her birth. And we called her Victoria. So um, I called myself Mila on YouTube. You know all the history. Okay, so this is just a uh, silver gold-plated necklace. Just write Arabic writing name necklace uh, 225, 225 or 224 silver, uh, gold-plated on AliExpress. I don't think I paid much for it. And guys, by the way, uh, you can get very good uh, 925 uh, real silver jewelry because, yeah, after... I, I went through so much jewelry in my life that I know how to recognize real silver and if you want like basic studs uh, a basic silver ring some sort of necklace go on aliexpress just make sure with the seller that it is a real 925 silver is it 925 or 924 i have a doubt now whatever okay last is the big zara earring trend so i got a bit obsessed with those i have loads of them so these are the, I just took out these ones because these are the ones I wore on my birthday. I just think they are, they look good if you don't look cheap. If you look cheap, they look shit. If you look good, they look good. That's like, I feel like you have to be dressed quite like more smart to be able like, what, what I'm wearing right now is very good. By the way, uh, my jumper is from, I don't know who it's from. I got it on the Black Friday sale and it is from S. Olivier Black Label and it's called, this is the reference if you're interested. I got it in size M because I'm not into a tight jumpers. So, okay guys, I went a bit into an obsession with these earrings. So, they're like very 2018-2019. It's just a trend, by the way. And also, so these are from Zara. I have most of my pairs from Zara. But I missed out on some pieces that were sold out. And you know what you can do? This is a tip, like I'm literally giving away all my tips. Why am I doing it? Okay. So uh, basically, go on the Zara website. 
screenshot the ones you want, uh, then uh, search the image uh, on um, AliExpress, and usually they'll just find you the pair for like $2. The thing is that you're gonna have to, to wait a month to receive it, but I mean, it's really not necessary for a 20 franc, a $20 pair of earrings to go out of your way to buy them on AliExpress. But if you really wanted a pair like this one, they don't make it anymore. They make similar ones, but not the exact one. And yeah, I have this thing of collectioning it, all of them. And when I missed on one or it got sold out, I just uh, do what I just said. So yeah, guys, this, these are my favorite pieces of jewelry of uh, this year and uh, I hope you enjoyed it yeah thank you so much for watching guys I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel like this video and activate the notification bell and I will see you in my next one bye guys